Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do my finger coils tutorial so you can learn exactly how I went from this to this and this style lasts me an entire two weeks. So if you're interested in watching how I achieve these finger coils, then definitely stay tuned. So I just got out the shower and I have freshly washed hair. You want to make sure that you do this style on freshly washed hair. Make sure you stay till the end of this video because at the end of this video I'm going to show you guys how to maintain it for the two week period and how to clean it up and make sure that you look fresh every day. But while you are in the shower you also want to make sure that you detangle your hair. That's exactly what I did when I was in the shower. So the Denman brush is going to be your best friend. I love using the Denman brush to detangle while I have my conditioner in my hair. You also want to make sure that when you are styling your hair that it is wet, okay? So I didn't try to dry it, blow dry it, I didn't towel dry it or anything. And I love to keep a water bottle with me so that if while I'm styling my hair I feel like some parts are getting dry I can just you know spritz it spritz it and freshen it up and the reason why I like to do my style on wet hair is because it helps to eliminate frizz while I'm doing my style and it keeps in the moisture the first thing that I like to do before anything else is use my hair growth oil to seal in the moisture with my wet hair, with the water in my hair. So I'm just gonna spray my hair a little bit to make sure it's as wet as possible and moisturized. And this will also help protect my hair from the products that I'm gonna be putting on it. And I am going to take my um, hair growth oil from Via Health Nut 2. So I'm just gonna do this. And I am just going to apply this oil throughout my hair. Now you can use any oil, you can use um, olive oil or what other oil you use. My favorite thing about this oil is it's lightweight. I am going to start dividing my hair. Now the style we're doing today is finger coils and I don't have a lot of time. I'm a mother, I'm an entrepreneur, so I wanted a style that I can accomplish really, really quick and not take up a lot of my time. But one thing I noticed is that when people do finger coils, they start, they just attack their hair like this and they do it like one by one. I don't do that because my hair, as you can see, it's really thick. I don't know if you can tell. My hair is thick and I have a lot of hair on my head. So if I were to go in little by little, one by one, and do the finger coils, it would take forever. And plus my hair easily gets tangled, it easily gets knotted up. So before I do that, the first thing I do is I do big or medium sized finger coils. Now because my hair is short, I most likely have to, have to do medium sized finger coils so it takes a little longer. But if you have longer hair, you can do big finger coils if your hair is longer and it'll stick. So I'm gonna start separating my hair and doing medium sized finger coils. To give you guys an example, and I'm gonna be detangling my hair at the same time. So I'm gonna be using this curl hydration that was sent to me by Diva by Cindy. And what I love about this is this product is so moisturizing. You can tell it has a lot of water in it. And I definitely don't want my hair to look dry within the two weeks that I'm gonna have this style in. I love that it literally makes your curls pop, like the name of the product. Um, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Like, I literally love this product. So it literally makes your curls pop. And I noticed that this has like a little 
jelly like a gel like element to it meaning that when I tried it on my daughter's hair when her hair dried I felt it was like a little firm it had like a little hold so I love that because I need this style to be moisturized, to look curly, to pop, and to have a nice hold. So this is what I'm gonna use to detangle my curls. And I am going to use my Motions Foam Styling Lotion. You can use any type of styling lotion and you can also use any type of you know styling cream. The important thing about styling foam and why I love it, it's kinda like gel, but it's a foamy gel. Gel makes your hair kind of like hard and rough and I really want my, my coils to be really soft and lightweight. So I love that this is this gives that effect of you know soft and lightweight, but it, it helps you to style your hair so it kind of makes it firm and hold as well. So these are the two main products that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna make sure that I focus on the ends of my hair. Cause a lot of time the ends of your hair are the driest part of your hair. So when you start detangling with your Denman brush, make sure that those curls at the end of your hair are popping, okay? So I'm gonna get started and show you guys an example. So I think that this is a good size medium coil right here that I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna grab this whole piece, this whole section right here, and see my hair is already dry. But I am going to just spritz it and make sure that it is wet. Okay, I'm gonna wet that bad boy. And I am going to grab my styling cream, and I am going to make sure that this is full of moisture. I'm gonna finger detangle first. And then I'm going to detangle with my Denman brush, okay? So finger detangling. And I'm really generous, guys, because my hair just sucks up products. So you have to know what kind of hair that you have. My hair sucks up products, so I gotta put a lot of products on my hair. I'm gonna use my Denman brush, and I'm gonna go right in, and I'm gonna start working that in, and start detangling my hair, okay? So this is my second time detangling. I actually detangled in the shower, but like I said, my hair tangles up by itself really quickly. But as you can see, I'm focusing on my ends and I'm gonna grab some of my, you see those curls popping right there? I'm gonna grab some of my foaming lotion now. I'm putting the foaming lotion. You don't need that much. I've kind of OD'd and put a lot. But I'm putting the foaming lotion on my hair. I wanna focus on the ends like that. So I'm sealing it with this foaming lotion that's gonna give it a nice firm hold. And I'm going to comb it in again like that. And all I'm gonna do is take my finger and literally twist it like that and coil it around. And when I start reaching the end, I'm gonna hold it and comb the ends of my hair again with the Denman brush and I am going to continue and twist those ends of my hair like this, okay? And there you go, that is my first, you know, medium sized coil. So I go around the whole head of my hair and I do these coils and it saves me so much time. There's another reason why I decide to part it this way, not only to save time, but it helps with the style as well. So after I finish doing these big coils, I'm going to explain to you guys um, why it makes the style even better. So let me just comb this out. My curls are popping. And I'm just going to swoop like that. Just twirl it around. Make sure I hold this firm so I can have my ends looking right. The ends, you know, they make the style. The ends are so important. And I do just like that. So I'm gonna do the rest of my hair now. And this is how, you know, my coils look after I divide them into medium sizes. This is how it's looking. So I completed my chunky medium sized coils and I wanted to make a point that in order to know if your coils are the right size, if you see your coil unraveling like this one here, that means it's too big. So because this one is unraveling, I'm just going to redo it and twist it up like 
that and then do this one okay but most of my other ones this one is pretty big too so I'm also going to redo this one So most of my other ones are pretty good. You want your ends to look like this, okay? You wanna make sure that your ends of your coils all look good. Other people would tell you to just leave it like this, go to sleep, let your hair dry, sit under a dryer, and then put oil on your fingertips so that you can separate the coils. That is not what we're gonna do, okay? So here is my technique, and it's what makes a big difference in this style. hair gets frizzy really easy so I don't wait overnight I don't go under a dryer for my hair to dry after I put my hair in these chunky coils I make sure that I go in immediately guys like right after I'm done doing this I go in immediately and separate the curls okay the beauty in this is my hair texture is a very coarse or it's a very thick hair texture and it holds styles really good. So even though my hair is still kind of wet, it's still kind of damp, I can go in and separate these coils. They're not gonna lose their form. And since I already put it in a, a coil-like state, my hair is already adjusting to this style. My hair is already adjusting to the coily style. So it's not gonna take a lot of work for me to go in and separate them and create the coils because my hair is already in coils. And what's gonna happen, I'm going to leave it as it is and it's gonna dry on its own. And when it dries, there's gonna be no frizz, no mess. It's going to look perfect because I'm letting it dry while it's still wet. I'm styling my hair while it's wet. That is the secret to this style, guys. So let me show you what I would do. If you want, you can go in and use some oil, um, even though your hair is wet. It's not necessary, you don't need it. But I would go in and just unravel each of these and create my individual curls like that, easy. So all you do is twist it with your finger. If you want it super tight, the longer you twist it, the tighter it is. And if you want it more fluffy, then you just, you know, you don't go, you don't twist it as much. All right, so that's all I do. And at this point, my hair is detangled, my hair is moisturized, everything is divided into parts. So I just have to grab each individual part and create my coils. And when I'm finished, I don't have to dry it, I don't have to do anything, I just leave it just as it is. You can make them as big or as small as you want. This is kind of the size that I usually go for. It may look a little big now, but I know when my hair dries, it's gonna scrunch up, it's gonna shrink up, and it's gonna look tighter. So right now, my hair has a looser look, but tomorrow, my hair is gonna look more tight. Okay, so that was the first one that I did. Got some beautiful coils there. I'm gonna do another one right here. Okay, so I'm just going in and I'm just separating my coils. And I'm making sure to coil it within the same direction with my finger, making sure my finger is going in the same direction that I had coiled it the first time, okay? And you're just gonna separate it this way and you're gonna do all of your hair. Alrighty, so I'm gonna do all of my hair and I'm gonna come back and show you guys the finished results and give you tips on how you can maintain this style for two entire weeks.
completed my finger coils and this is the final result. My hair is still damp. I have it, it hasn't dried yet, but I'm super excited because once I go to sleep and it dries, it's gonna shrink up, become very tight, and it's gonna have that shine. So you're gonna see the shininess from all the products that I have put in my hair. As I promised, I'm gonna give you guys tips on how you can maintain your hair and freshen it up throughout the two weeks that you have it, okay? So my first tip is to sleep with a satin bonnet, okay, on your head. If you don't sleep with a satin bonnet, then get a satin pillowcase. Sometimes I don't even use my satin bonnet because sometimes I might lose it or don't know where it is, but I always sleep with my satin pillowcase. This is my baby. It helps to keep my hair moisturized and make sure my hair doesn't get frizzy. If you do a style like this and you go to a cotton pillowcase, that's gonna put a lot of friction on your hair, okay? So that is my first tip. If you're someone who goes to the gym or you're someone who sweats out your edges and you wanna make this style look really, really clean, I always finish up this style by doing my edges. And the way that I do this is I use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Edge Control and I use my favorite, favorite toothbrush and you don't need a lot, all you need is a little bit. So I'm gonna get a little bit here and I'm gonna show you guys. I put a little water, so I spritz, spritz it a little bit and then I put my edge control on there and I take my toothbrush, guys, and I just edge that baby out and clean it up a bit. So if you're someone, you know, you sweat a lot and your edges get a little frizzy, you can always clean up this style by, you know, putting edge control in your hair and making sure, you know, you add water to it. Okay, so that's one thing that I do to keep, you know, my style looking put together and fresh. I just go in and make sure that my edges are looking good, they're looking cute, and that I look put together. But this edge control is definitely my favorite edge control. By the way, any of the products or the, the items that I mentioned in this video, if you're interested in purchasing them, I'm going to link them in the description box. So check out the description box if you are interested in any of those items. If your hair starts getting frizzy, like maybe a week and a half later, if it starts like fuzzing up, take the coils that have the frizz. Not all of the coils are gonna get frizzy, but if you have a few that get frizzy, take the coils that have the frizz, take a little edge control and some water, put some water on your fingers and some edge control, and pick the coil that has the frizz and use the edge control to just twist it right back up and the edge control is gonna lay down those frizzies on your hair. So just touch it up with some edge control if you need to, not too much edge control though, because you're gonna, if you use too much edge control, it's gonna make your head really, your coils really heavy and it's gonna make them really hard and elongated. So that's why I say make sure you use water and mix water with your edge control so the edge control can be more like a, a gel, if that makes sense but use edge control because it's stronger than gel. And then my last tip is if you find that your hair is looking a little dry and it's not as shiny as it was in the beginning, all you need to do, I use the Argan Oil from Morocco Replenishing Sheen Spray and this will add that shine back to your hair. So just make sure you close your eyes, put it a couple feet from you, you know, shake it up a little bit and then just, you know, spray that down and you'll have your hair look good shiny and you'll be good to go for the day. So as long as you've got your sheen spray, you've got your edge control and you're sleeping on a satin pillow, this style should be able to last you for about two weeks. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. If this is your first time on my channel or if you really enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe and leave it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye.